Sporting Journal Radio, presented by Onyx. Now we're going to head up to Lake of the Woods and check in with Joe Henry from Lake of the Woods Tourism to get a fishing report up there as he checks in. From where, Joe, where are you at? You're at an airport right now? I'm at the Bidet International Airport. <laughs> how, how big is that international airport? It's as big as it needs to be, Brett. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what's cool about the Bidet International Airport is how many airports do you know that have fish hanging on the walls like that. There's a big bike, and uh, check this place out. It's really cool. Now, this is one of those airports that you can drive up to. You, nope, you don't have to pay for parking. You can drive right up to it. I mean, it is just uh, really a neat little airport. You're right to the door, practically. And in fact, we were able to drive our trucks right uh, on the tarmac and load up our luggage to uh, to get on the airplane. And, uh, you know, uh, we, we were up to the Northwest Angle, and uh, Lake Country Air started fly, a flying service around Lake of the Woods, really because of the pandemic. When uh, when Canada closed to travel, and of course, you know, a lot of our guests would drive to the Northwest Angle and you have to drive 40 miles through Canada. So when that closed up, that kind of created an opportunity for a flying service. And they realized that there's a need for it. Guests really like saving time, avoiding customs, et cetera, et cetera. So Lake Country Air has set up, not only out of Bidette, they also fly once in a while out of War Road, but they're actually based out of South St. Paul. So, mm. you know, a lot of people are flying right from South St. Paul right up to either the Bidette International Airport if they're going to fish at the south end of the lake at one of our resorts, or they fly right up to the Northwest Angle, in which that case they land right on the ice. That's probably, is that Holman Field? Is that South St. Like that. That's South St. Paul, yeah. isn't it? My dad used to fly uh, for 3M out of that airport, I think, once in a while. But really? he didn't go to Lake of the Woods fishing, and I think he rather would have done that. Uh, otherwise, it wouldn't have because it was always work trips for him. So I think he would have had more fun. Well, you figure now, ima- imagine this, flying from uh, flying from St. Paul, flying for about an hour and 40 minutes, and uh, landing on the ice right in front of one of the beautiful uh, Northwest <laughs> Rivers. I got to tell you, you want to talk about something. We landed. I had no idea. We, you know, we took off from Bedet at around a little after 3 o'clock. I didn't think we were going to fish that night. Heck, they, uh, the, the resort we were staying at had a bombardier fired up. We loaded up our uh, ice fishing equipment, went right to a fish house, and started whacking the walleyes. But you yeah. want to talk about incredible. That's great. So when oh. you fly up to the angle, then, is the, the runways on the ice? Yeah, so it's a, it's a plowed runway on the ice. They got it marked with stakes and, you know, some different things. And, uh, um, yep, it's really smooth, you know, and uh, ice is great. We have great ices here. So we, we land right on the ice. Uh, yeah, so we, you know, we, 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 when you take off, and by the way, you know, seats are leather. You're wearing headphones with a mic, you know, so you can talk to one another. And uh, real warm, real comfortable leather seats. You, you know, when you, you take off, boy, I'll tell you, we were not going very far down that runway, and that plane was in the air. And it's really kind of neat because, you know, you're flying first over the Rainy River, um, and then you go over Wheeler's Point, Pine Island, and you're flying up that east boundary. And, Good gravy. You know, you're going up by nights and bridges where all the, some of the great fishing is. You go over Garden Island and you see all the islands. You get to see over into Canada what that looks like from air versus by boat or snowmobile. And uh, it's just really kind of a neat experience. I, uh, it's like flying fishing. It's almost like you're doing a flying trip to Canada. Yeah. Um, except you're, you're at the Northwest Angle. Really cool. Hey, was it a caravan? Do you remember what kind of plane it was? Um, Kodiak. 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 Oh, Kodiak. Yep. Okay. Cool. The guys here at the airport had to help me out. Sure, <laughs> sure, man. And uh, do you, did you did you do any uh, filming or pictures of that flight, Joe? Do you have any? Yeah, no, we we did. In fact, uh, yeah, you know, I don't know if I uh, if I can show you. It's kind of cool too because when we were coming down, we were showing um, looking at the fish houses when you get in front of Pine Island, and it's neat to see how the different resorts have the uh, the configuration going. And um, you know, it just. Again, seeing it from the air is just something very, very neat. Here's, uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a picture. The guy is just, uh, so the plane was going to go back up to uh, up to the northwest angle. Yeah, I don't even really see that. But they were going to go back up to the northwest angle and uh, drop some folks off and then take a group, I think, down to St. Paul or something. I mean, they, they're, they're buzzing all over today. I'll mm. show you, uh, here's a picture of the outside of the Bedette Airport, which is really kind of a, a neat little airport a little bit so just a nice little airport but they're sure. real easy to get to you know and then uh yeah you don't have to walk far from where you park your your vehicle there it's oh, not- <laughs> man, you, you, yeah, yeah. drive you right up for guys like me it's perfect yeah and then uh here's a picture and i don't know if you can see that or not but here's yep. a picture of 
from uh, from the air all the different fish houses and the different resorts that are there and uh it looks like a bunch of specks i guess but uh, mm-hmm. really kind of neat again to see it from the air and you know it's just a just a really cool experience here's a picture of the inside the plane um oh, yeah. so again very 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 comfortable uh flight but uh so yeah, that, and then, i mean know, to me uh, that that's part of the yep. experience, you know, being oh. able to fly in a plane like that. You know, how many people can say they've done something like that? But then to get to go fishing after you do something like that. And how was the fishing up there, Joe? Boy, it was good. It was so good. You know, uh, you know, I, I don't want to be unrealistic because let's face it. You know, when you go fishing on Lake of the Woods, you're going fishing. You're going fishing like you go fishing anywhere. But, you know, Lake of the Woods is one of those bodies of water that you always have a chance of having a day like we did yesterday. And I'll tell you what. We caught so many eater walleyes. We were throwing so many nice walleyes back last night. I cannot tell you. Um, th- this particular fish house we were fishing out of was really kind of set up for a kind of a morning evening bite. So during the day, you know, it wouldn't have been that that great. But we got there, at, you know, really early in the morning and and, and uh, just before light actually, and uh, probably at a quarter to seven. And, and we got, uh, um, you know, we fished uh, just after dark a little bit. Boy, I'll tell you what, we uh, we caught walleyes. And, you know, we didn't get any real big ones. The biggest fish we probably caught was around 22 inches. Um, but, man, did we get nice nice eater fish. I mean, the 16 to 19-inch walleyes were just hmm. crazy. And we were getting them on uh, – I was using a tikka minnow by Clam. It's a, like a jig and wrap um, in, in a kind of a glow color. That was working good, tipped with a, a minnow head or a piece of minnow tail in the middle treble hook. That was really good for some reason. And then I also used um, – a rip and wrap, I caught fish on that uh, using a, a Fire Tiger uh, UV, which a pink Fire Tiger UV. And uh, I wasn't tipping that. I was just ripping that. I found when I tip that with a minnow, you don't get the good action on it. Mm. Uh, I was also using a, a, a macho minnow. I used a stop, stop sign uh, a jig from uh, Tom's Tackle a little bit. I used uh, I used a demon, which is kind of a glow in the dark, uh, small, kind of almost like a crappie lure, but with a bigger hook. I used that with a, a live minnow on my dead stick. And that was also really effective. Um, yeah, so the, the the glow colors, I think, were out fishing gold this time around. But the glow colors, maybe a little bit of rattle on there, was uh, was really good. That first trip I ever took to Lake of the Woods and fished through the ice, I was introduced to that stop sign, and I'd never I'd never used it before, and it outfished everything else we had that day. And then the next year on the bus trip up, when we used to host bus trips from Fargo. On the bus trip up, we'd stop there in Greenbush, and I bought every stop sign. I think it was in Greenbush. I think that's where it was. I can't remember. I bought every stop sign they had in the store and uh, caught a bunch. Well, you of know, it's funny because uh, well, Tom Sackle is under new ownership. Todd and Sharon May bought it last year, I think, and uh, you know they uh, they're keeping the tradition. And you know that that a small tackle company up here in Bedette really makes lures for Lake of the Woods, but really other stained water lakes as well. And you know what? Uh, they just got some. They just have some lures that work well. They got colors that work well. The the, the glow reds, the uh, um, the gold and glow reds. They got jigs that are gold, glow, and pink. I mean, think of the wood colors totally. And uh, tell you what, it's uh, some some good options there. Put it that way. How deep of water were you fishing up at up at uh, the angle? Did you say? Yeah, we're we're fishing in 18 feet of water. 18, yeah, okay, that's yep. what I thought. And, and you know, I'll tell you, you know what, what a lot of uh, so some people were doing the morning evening bite. Other people were getting out a little bit deeper water than they were picking at them all day long. You know, I will say we did. Uh, we also caught a, a nice pike. Uh, I was fishing with Larry Smith of Larry Smith Outdoors, and you know, Larry Smith caught about a 30, I think it was a 34 inch pike. So re- real nice pike, not as big as they get up here. They get you know 45 inches and, and such, but. You know, a 34-inch pike was a darn good pike, and man, it give a give us a fight. To, it's fun uh, to catch them through the ice, absolutely. Oh, and on walleye gear too, you know. Yeah. And uh, yep, it it was fun, but uh, yeah, you know, things are alive and well. You know, we're, our, our northwest angle, I should say, there's a few ways to get up there, Brett. You know, people can drive up, they can uh, take the Stonebill Trail up, they can uh, uh, take the Lake of the Woods Passenger Service, which is a bombardier service, uh, take a round trip up to whatever resort you're staying at, and there are some ways to get up there. Uh, and then in the meantime, on the south end of the lake, man. Fishing has still been very, very good. Going through a lot of numbers on the south end. So a lot of numbers meaning they're going through a lot of small fish. Now, m- most groups are getting their eaters. Most groups are catching some slot fish. And you know, if you get lucky, you'll even get a trophy once in a while. So uh, fishing overall, as I said early ice, says fishing's been good. Ice is getting thicker. Some of our resorts are actually getting sleeper houses out. There you see some gals with some bourbon. You yeah. know, uh, the old saying is, have you ever had a boat with a pout? 
Yeah. And these young ladies certainly have. My last one was at the Northwest Angle, as a matter of fact, Joe, filming for Prairie Sportsman. So, Oh, that was, yeah, we, that was with uh, Jamie Dimon in the house, right? Mm, that sure was. Good was times. Big help. All right, if we want to learn more about uh, getting up anywhere at Lake of the Woods, where to stay, where to go, how to fish, all that good stuff, what, sh- what should people do? Absolutely. I want to wish everybody a, a, a great Christmas, a great holiday season. And you know what? Uh, if you want to find out more about fishing Lake of the Woods, check out our website, and that is lakeofthewoodsmn.com. Thank you, Joe. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. Hear more at SportingJournalRadio.com or wherever you get podcasts.